Hi Scorpio, welcome to your March love reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Scorpio, we're going to take a look at a love connection that you may have on your mind at this time. You uh, don't necessarily have to be with your, this person. You could be separated together, whatever your situation is, but you definitely have to know each other and you definitely have to believe there's some sort of connection between you. So we'll see what's going on at this time. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And I can also pick up past, present, future. Only take what resonates, throw away the rest. If it's not resonating at all, it's probably just not your reading. So please don't try to make it fit. So welcome, Scorpio. Hope everybody's doing well. So let's see what's going on for you at this time in love. And I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, links below in the description box for your love and general playlist, along with, along with the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading, or if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, all that is below in the description. I'll also pin it to the top comment. So let's see what's going on with Scorpio at this time. This is a Zodiac Oracle, so we could get a sign, element, planet. If you don't resonate with whatever comes out here, that's totally fine. So let's see what we have for Scorpio at this time for this love reading, this love connection reading for Scorpio. That one just wanted to fly right in my lap. We have the sun. So some of you could be dealing with a Leo. With a Leo. And the sun is our sun is all about your sun sign, who you truly are, your identity, your originality. Uh, it makes you you. So this is just being you and true to who you are and what you are and whatever your connection is. So the sun is the happiest card in the deck in the tarot anyway. It's the happiest, uh, luckiest card in the deck. So... We'll see what's going on here for you, Scorpio. So the first thing I want to do here is sort of get a opening love connection energy between you and your person, whoever you're thinking about at this time for this reading. The Scorpio spirit, please. Thank you so much. Can we have an opening energy message on this love connection for Scorpio and whoever they're thinking about at this time? This is a general collective reading, not a personal reading. So Scorpio, okay. We have new love. Ooh. A new person has has stirred your romantic feelings. So you could have new love on the horizon here or you have a new connection with somebody. Hmm. Okay. So what I'm going to do next, Scorpio, is I'm going to put you here, your person here, whoever you're thinking about at this time. And we're going to get to energy on how you're feeling about each other and the connection. So Scorpio and their person. Let's get one for Scorpio. Spirit. Oh, wow. Okay. Codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. Hmm. And let's see your person, your person, your person. How are they feeling about you in this connection spirit, please? One card for Scorpio's person. Okay, I felt like one wanted to fly. And we have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So I see there's new love here, but it could already be a codependent energy or you on your own have codependent issues you're trying to resolve it could either be addictions obsessions it could be working too much it could be um anything that you're doing too much of and your person here could be healing family issues uh, in their own right maybe with a past partner or maybe just things with their mother and father because I feel it's new. I don't feel like this is your energy together. I feel like you're trying to overcome some things on your own. Addictions, like I said, could be anything. Um, anything you're doing too much of, working too much, or partying too much. Um, whatever you're doing too much of or is not healthy for you in any way, shape, or form. I feel like you're trying to overcome that energy and better yourself or become more stable. And this person is definitely, if they have children, I'm seeing children here. <clears throat> with a past person they're definitely trying to heal that and resolve that so they can move forward in a um, peaceful energy and not have that um, affect this new connection but I definitely see new love and I see a lot of happiness joy involving the two of you once you both independently I feel um, recover from your situations or improve them or whatever it is for the two of you Wow, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So there definitely is passion involved here. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So I do see a love and passion between the two of you. 
Wow. All right, Scorpio. <clears throat> Let's clarify these energies. So I like to say thank you to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal reading, those who have tipped, donated, sent a gift. All your support really does mean a lot to me, and I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. And also, we just hit 10,000 subscribers, and I did it um, within my goal of a year, under a year, so thank you so much. In honor of that, of all my subscribers and reaching 10K, I am doing a deck giveaway along with a 20-minute free reading by me. I will do your reading with that deck, and then I will send you that deck. So if you're interested in entering the contest, it'll be open till the end of March. I'll be picking the winner sometime the beginning of April. I'll put a link below, probably in the description box, also in the top comment on how to go to uh, enter the contest. So if you'd like to enter that, feel free and good luck to you. All right, so let's see. Let's clarify this energy for Scorpio. What is this codependency about for you, Scorpio? Spirit, please. King of Cups. So that's your energy, king or queen. Doesn't matter if you're male or female watching this. So that is your energy. And I felt like that was you, <clears throat> your energy. So you're trying to overcome something here. Seven of Cups. So feeling a little disillusioned or confused or daydreamy or looking at all your options. Some of you, it could be overcoming maybe drinking or something like that. I mean, I don't want to say that or accuse anybody of that, but for some of you, if it fits, because we do have all these seven of cups here, definitely could be overindulgence you're trying to overcome. Um, or, you know, this is a very daydreamy energy of feeling a little, you know, confused, options, choices. So maybe, you know, maybe still feeling a little confused on how to overcome this codependency or whatever is affecting you. All right, definitely feel like that's your energy. So let's see what your person's going through here with healing family issues. I mean, I don't feel like this is uh, since it's new. It's something between the two of you. I think you're both trying to overcome something separately so that you can be together. Justice, yeah. So they could be going through a divorce here. Definitely, I felt something here. And they're trying to have peace, harmony, balance justice in the situation so they can peacefully move forward from it and not have that interfere with this new connection. They want to just have that peaceful resolve of being completely free of the energy of having, you know, um, closure kind of energy. So it doesn't affect this energy moving forward. Yeah. And the wheel of fortune. And by doing that, this is divine timing. This is fate, destiny, things getting better. So they're going through something major here because they got two majors, but you only have minors. So I don't think it's as a big issue for you as it is for them, whatever they're going through, whatever divorce or whatever, maybe trying to get, you know, the money issues resolved with the wheel of fortune, you know, just trying to heal that whole thing so they can move forward. The wheel of fortune moves forward um, to their fate, to their destiny, divine timing. It's all about divine timing here, the right time. Just things getting going in a better direction once justice is served and they can totally uh, be free of that things will get better between the two of you and once you overcome it could be something minor here um, it may not be like overindulging or anything like that but whatever you're a little confused about getting over uh, whatever it is for you I feel like it's not as a big deal as their issue as like maybe divorce or whatever it is here so let's see, maybe you just have a lot going on in your life right now with that seven of cups energy. You could have family, like immediate family issues. You could you know, have a lot going on at work. You could have a lot of responsibility and you're just feeling a little confused and overwhelmed and trying to really get in your power and controlling all, the, all this that's going on before you can move forward. Maybe you just don't have time for them right now either because of everything going on in your life. So let's see what the actual situation Four of Wands. So that's my Twin Flame card. So definitely soulmates here. And this is about commitment, stability, and your home life. So I definitely feel like you're trying to get stability into your home life. Um, I feel like you just have a lot going on. You could be moving. You could be, you know, taking care of family, you know, your mother, your father, or siblings, or, you know, maybe helping your, your friends out, working a lot, and just feeling very overwhelmed. I'm surprised we... 
um, didn't get the ten of wands here, but let's see. Oh, just one more. Well, we got close. We got the nine of wands. So yeah, you're feeling like the wounded warrior. You're almost at the ten where, okay, I need to give up some things here because it's just getting to the point where I'm getting too overworked, too overburdened by too much responsibility. But you're very strong and determined. You keep going on, fighting on, doing what you need to do. But yet, needing that stability in your home life, I feel before, once everything is settled and secure and stable, everything's fine, and you're not feeling such feeling so much like that wounded warrior, I feel like you'll have more time for this person. So let's see what else here. What else here? And I feel like there could be people very codependent on you whether it's family or friends or co-workers or something, or even just your work, very, very dependent on you and what you do for everything and everybody also. No wonder why you're feeling like you're being pulled in every direction. Page of Wands. So that's a good news coming in between the two of you. <coughs> so I feel like once everything settles down for you, once they're free and clear and able to move forward, good news coming in, sharing the news between the two of you. Okay, I'm stable now. I'm ready to move forward. They're okay. I'm stable now. Also ready to move forward. And there's that passionate communication, good news coming in between the two of you and having that conversation. Wow. All right. So what else? What else? What else here for this situation? Ten of Cups. So there you go. Total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Love and abundance between the two of you. They definitely want that with you. Judgment. Yeah, so they're waiting on the judgment call here. On their situation so they can move forward with the wheel. To their Ten of Cups, which is you. And sharing the news, okay, the judgment has been made. I'm ready to move forward with my Ten of Cups person, which is you. And then once you aren't feeling so beat up and worn out from just life and are in the stable energy, boom, we're coming together to share this good news that we can move forward into the Ten of Cups. Wow. So judgment there, you know, it was waiting for a final decision, making a final decision, also forgiveness in their situation. Um, it can be a resurrection, but I don't think there's resurrection there. I just feel it could be a resurrection between the two of you. We pick up where we left off. Um, and uh, move forward. Judgment bringing the soulmates together. Wheel bringing in what's meant to be. Wow. Okay. So let's see what the advice is in this for you, Scorpio. Wow. So we got the Seven of Swords. So getting out of situations here, no longer serving. You know, finally turning your back and saying, okay, I'm done with that energy. I have the truth and clarity of it turning my back, taking my swords, I'm going off and leaving behind what needs to be left behind. It can be about lies, deceit, and sneaky kind of energy, but I'm not getting that. I feel like finally picking up your swords and just moving forward and leaving behind what is no longer serving you and uh, getting out of situations that just are dragging you down. We have a four of pentacles. Yeah, so there's an energy here of holding back from one another. But here's the Ace of Pentacles, so here's a long-term commitment. Here's a solid, stable, grounded um, foundation. Moving forward for the long-term. Very prosperous and abundant, stable new beginning between the two of you. And the world, so closing chapters, starting new chapters. So advice here is to close out chapters no longer serving you, so you can start a new chapter together for the long-term. Definitely could be marriage in the future, long-term commitment, very stable, abundant the Ace of Pentacle energy, but there's been an energy here of holding back from one another, but once people can get away from the things no longer serving them, doing what they need to do to get away and out of that energy, holding back while you're doing that, and closing out the cycles and new cycles can start, then you can have this brand new, divinely guided, abundant, prosperous, long-term connection between the two of you. Wow. Wow. Okay, so let's see what the outcome <clears throat> can be for you, Scorpio. 
And I do ask Scorpio, if you're new, you like my style and how I read, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, hit the bell. You can check out my channel. You'll get five readings a month. You get two loves, two generals, and a bonus. And uh, if you subscribe, thank you so much. And hit the bell. You won't miss out. So let's see what the possible outcome is here. Death. That's your energy. The fool. Yep, I see where it's going. I felt that energy. Major's here, so this is major. And the three of pentacles. Right, so the outcome is here. People will be closing and end, ending cycles, no longer serving them, and transforming their lives, transforming themselves, their situations, healing, moving forward. Now we're able to reset at zero, restart, coming back together, taking the leap of faith together with the three of pentacles so that we can work this out moving forward working together um for stability for long term taking it slow so that it can be secure and stable moving forward for the long term wow yep ending out cycles letting things just die and end transforming having the new beginning and and jumping right in with the full energy with a clean slate and working together for the long term to a very stable, pros prosperous new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Nice energy there, Scorpio. So let's see what we have at the bottom. So the Magician. So we got the Fool leaping in and then having and manifesting this brand new beginning between the two of you. Eight of Pentacles, putting in the dedicated effort in the work on this connection. <clears throat> Though there's been a period of waiting with the Three of Wands. And again, there's the Ten of Wands. I said it was going to come out. Laying down the burdens that are no longer serving you. Getting over heartache and pain. I feel like it could be them getting over the heartache and pain of this ending. But becoming single with the nine and then the nine of cups getting their wish fulfillment, which would be you. Happiness and joy in every single way. Making the decision here with the two of swords to move forward in this connection with victory, success, passion, balance. Tempering, patient, energy healing energy, soulmates coming, temperance, bringing the soulmates together. Very strong connection here with the strength, having that strength, courage, determination to move on from things and the willpower. Knight of Swords, cutting out things no longer serving you and rushing ahead to victory and success. And then moving forward together with the Knight of Pentacles energy with that stable, secure movement forward. So, wow. So, we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Sag, Cancer. <clears throat> Let's see. The Magician here is um, <clears throat> Gemini and Virgo. We got Leo there with the Sun. We have your energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sagittarius again here. Libra. Um... Aquarius, Scorpio, the world here, I consider earth signs, so it could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, uh, could be all the signs, really, uh, let's see here, Judgment, Scorpio, that's your energy, Nine of Wands, Page of Wands, uh, Leo, Sag, Aries, so those are other signs that I see, basically everybody's on the board here, so let's get some closing messages for you, Scorpio. <clears throat> with this deck here some closing messages for you Scorpio with this deck here spirit thank you so much closing messages for Scorpio closing messages for Scorpio about this love connection healing imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light feel your relationship being healed this very moment so very healing energy between the two of you them healing their family issues, you healing your energy, whatever you're going through, so that you can move forward. What else? Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So just trusting in the process, trusting in the divine wheel here, what's meant to be will happen. And I do feel like this is going to come together once you both close out things in your life and gain stability back in your life then able to come together free and, free and clear of any energies that were holding you back all right what else 
Well, it's wow, well, it's way too many. This deck is very awkward, so let's see. Well, there's not too many here. We'll take them all. So then we have transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Exactly. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. And deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. So definitely a lot of love, emotions, trust, transformation, healing, secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So maybe, you know, this person or you admired one or the other and secretly liked each other until maybe somebody came forward and that's what got this connection going. Could be for some of you. Wow, Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio. So best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, so always, always shine your light.